Hey y'all, welcome back to Cuffins and Carts. On today's episode, we're gonna be installing the clutch, chain, and throttle cable on our Predator 212 project titled Big Red. I've got today's cup of the day brewing right now. Today we're gonna to be drinking Wild Blueberry from the Republic of Tea. Very good flavor. If you add a little bit of sugar, it brings out that blueberry and it's real nice and sweet. All right, let's head over to our workbench and I'll show you what tools we're gonna to be needing today and let's go ahead and get started. To install the throttle cable, we are going to need a ratchet, a 7 16 wrench and socket, a 10 millimeter wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of side cutting pliers. We're also gonna need some plastic tubing, the throttle cable itself. Yours may or may not come with the plastic tubing that it would, will need to mount to the go-kart. Our application requires a 7 16 bolt, a flat washer, and a lock nut. We're also gonna use a few zip ties to secure everything to the frame after we're done. This right here is our air box housing. What we're gonna do first is remove these two 10 millimeter nuts right here that hold it on. Okay, now that we have those two nuts removed, you'll notice on this side, there's a tube going into the top of the valve cover. All we have to do is just pull this tube out, just like that, and then pull our cover off. And we can just lift the cover up and over out of the way. If your engine is very new and your throttle linkage does not return automatically back to the fully closed position, you may need to loosen this nut right here. You can loosen it using a 10 millimeter wrench. And you only need to loosen it enough so that it returns under its own power. By lifting the air box cover up and out of the way, it gives us access to our throttle cable mounting locations. These two points and these two points are two options that we can use to mount our throttle cable. Now we're going to go to the front of the cart and install our throttle cable. To assemble the throttle cable, all you need to do is take the end of your cable and insert it into the end of your tubing. Once the end is exposed, coming out of the opposite side of your tubing, go ahead and pull until you come to the end. Now that we've got our throttle cable ready to go, we're going to take our bolt and washer and put it through the opening and then through the top location right here on our accelerator. We're going to take our 7 16 wrench and ratchet and tighten it all the way down until it threads bottom out. Using a partially threaded bolt allows the end of our throttle cable to be able to swivel as you depress the accelerator or gas pedal. To finish it off, we're going to take one of our zip ties and just secure it like this. And just take our side cutting pliers and clip off the excess.
Now we're going to go to the engine and install the rest of the throttle cable. To install this end of the throttle cable is very simple. All we need to do is simply loosen the Phillips head screw here and here. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better what's going on. As we loosen this Phillips head screw, you can see that it allows this hold down to move up and down. We're going to take the end of our throttle cable and push it through. And you'll notice there is also a hole right here on this side that we can push the cable through. You're going to take the end and slide it under here so it clamps down on your plastic cover or tubing. And then we're going to pull the end of the cable tight and tighten it down. See how it turns? The tighter it gets. We're going to take our 10 millimeter wrench, come in right here. And now we're going to tighten it down the rest of the way. Okay, let's make sure that we got it put on correctly. And we do. To finish the installation, all we need to do is pull our air filter cover back down. Line up the holes for the carburetor. Sometimes it can be a little bit finicky. Make sure everything's lined up. Then take your valve cover tube and put it right back in where it goes and go ahead and put your 10 millimeter nuts back on and tighten it all the way down you don't have to go too hard because it is plastic and you don't want to break it. Next, we're going to go back along the body of the go-kart and zip tie the cable to the frame. Once you're done, you can take your side cutting pliers and clip off the excess just like we did on the throttle cable. So unfortunately that's all we have time for today. Uh, I really wanted to get to the clutch installation and the chain installation but you know I just wanted to film everything all together and the weather has taken a downturn. It's really cold and wet out here. And uh, I just want to get it all together in one shot for you guys. So uh, I hope you'll stay with me and uh, check back next time. And we should be able to have that chain and clutch video. And then we'll finally take my big red out and uh, take her for a spin. It's been real fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.